Okay, so here's the formula for the trapezoidal rule. First, I'll show you guys how to use the, tra the formula for the trapezoidal rule, and then I'll show you where it comes from. So let's use the trapezoidal rule to approximate the integral from 1 to 2 of 1 over x squared dx. Okay, when we use the trapezoidal rule, we always have to determine what value of n we're going to use in the approximation. Let's use n equals 4. The first thing we need to do is we need to subdivide our interval from 1 to 2 into 4 equal pieces. After we do that, the x sub 0 in the formula is always your starting value of a. x sub 1 is the next value, x2, x3, and x4. Okay, for subdividing the interval from 1 to 2 into 4 equal pieces, we need to find our delta x. Delta x is going to be 2 minus 1 divided by 4, and so that's equal to 1 fourth. So if our starting point is 1, x sub 1 is 1 fourth of the unit, 1 fourth of a unit away from 1, and so that's going to put us at 5 fourths. And then x2 is another fourth of a unit away, so 5 fourths plus 1 fourth is equal to 6 fourths, and that simplifies to 3 halves. The next one in line is going to be 7 fourths. And finally, just to double check our work, if we have 7 fourths and we add 1 fourth to it, we get 8 fourths, and that is equal to 2. Okay, the next thing we want to do is we want to plug all of these values into the formula. So again, b is our upper limit of integration, and a is our lower limit of integration. So we have the integral from 1 to 2 of 1 over x squared dx is approximately equal to b minus a over 2n, so 2 minus 1, over 2 times our n value of 4, times f of x sub 0. Well, x sub 0 is 1, and f of x is 1 over x squared, so we just take the 1 there, and plug it in for x. So we get 1 over 1 squared plus 2 times f of x 1. x sub 1 is 5 fourths. So we have 2 times f of 5 fourths, which is 1 over 5 fourths squared. And then we continue on. So 2 f of x sub 2 f of x sub 2 is, we use 3 halves, so it's 1 over 3 halves squared, plus 2 f of x sub 3. Okay, so we put a 2 in front for everything except for our starting value and our ending value. So plus, we have 7 fourths, so 2 times 1 over, take 7 fourths, plug it into the function. Finally, we're at our last x value, and that's the one where we don't put a 2 in front. So it's just f of 2, which is 1 over 2 squared. Okay, let's clean this up a little bit. So 2 minus 1 is 1 over 2 times 4, which is 8, times 1 over 1 squared is just 1. If we have 5 fourths squared in the denominator, well, 5 fourths squared is really 25 over 16. So we have 25 over 16. We need to flip that if we want to divide 1 by that. So it's plus 2 times 1 over 25 over 16, or 16 over 25. OK, 3 halves squared in the denominator gives us 9 fourths in the denominator. 1 over 9 fourths is just the reciprocal of 9 fourths. So we have 2 times the reciprocal of 9 fourths, which is 4 ninths. 7 fourths squared is 49 over 16. So we have 2 times 
1 over 49 over 16, which again is the reciprocal of 49 over 16. And then plus 1 over 2 squared, which is 1 fourth. Okay, if we type this into the calculator, we get about 0 0.509. If you compare that with the true value, the exact value of the integral from 1 to 2, or actually still an approximation, but the integral from 1 to 2 of 1 over x squared dx, if you actually compute this, you're going to find that it's approximately equal to, well, it exactly is equal to, to, five, to 0.5. Okay, so our trapezoidal approximation was actually a pretty good approximation.